creatives and welcome to another video so today i'm here to share a junk journal with me in my traverse notebook junk journal and i'm very excited to share this particular page with you because i'm documenting a very special memory but first of all i'm going to tell you what i'm doing so i'm flipping through my junk journal to see if i want to work on a certain page and when i found this page i thought it was perfect because i grabbed the flow book for paper lovers but it's the nature edition so this was an extra edition we got uh, a couple of months ago and i decided that i wanted to use papers from this because it gives me the botanical feels i love it i'm also wearing a shirt with botanicals and i'm going for a blue and white and yellow color scheme because i am wearing blue and yellow and my sister is wearing yellow so that is why i decided to go for this color scheme and also i have not used this book yet uh, so i thought it was a good project to do so i found this little card and i decided to cut it up and i folded it in half so i'm going to journal on that later on so i also already have my journaling spot and now i'm just going to uh, layer up my photo but first of all this white piece of paper needs a little bit of background because no one likes a white piece of paper in the junk journal right so i am using uh, this beautiful pattern paper that was in the flow book I'm just sticking it down with some glue stick and cutting around the page. I do this because I always cut my paper short. So this is the best way for me. Please do it your own way. <laughs> you do not have to do it like I'm doing. Also, you see this butterfly on the side. I thought I wanted to use that. It was a tutorial that was in the flow book. But in the end, I do not use that butterfly because I can't make it fit on the page. But just if you were wondering why it was laying there, I planned on using it, but I never did. So I grabbed a little piece from a Your Creative Studio paper and now I'm grabbing some other vintage papers that I got from Your Creative Studio or AliExpress, I'm not quite sure because I have a rascock with everything uh, together, so mixed up. And I thought this was a perfect sheet of paper because you have a little bit of that blue in there and my photo just fitted in there perfectly. Now I like to combine modern things with vintage looking things. So I took these Dina Wakely washi tapes to give a little bit of that black, uh, a blue, black and yellow back into my spread. And I actually really, really like it. Here you see me with the butterfly trying to make it fit, but it's not working. I went back into my stash and I found these yellow flowers. I'm sure these are from AliExpress. I don't know if you can get them, uh, but if you're looking for this, uh, just look up washi stickers. Because of course, I also want to have a little bit of the yellow on the other side of the page. And I also took uh, scraps of that piece of paper that I used to layer my photo off uh, to collage on the other side because I really wanted to ground that flower it felt like it was floating on my page so i needed something to ground it and i like to use uh, things that i already used before so my pages look more cohesive together and when i did that it looked a lot better with the flower on top so i'm going to stick that down there and i'm going to move on with my collage on the right side of my page now today i am documenting a memory with my sister and it's a very very special one because this was the first time we saw each other again in a year and a half and before that we haven't we hadn't spoken for six years so it was quite special to actually have a day again together she lives in the southern part of the country and she um, traveled to me i live in the northern northern part and we had just this amazing day so went to the hairdressers we had had a little pie on the terrace and a cup of coffee and it was just really nice to be together and we talked about bullet journaling uh, and about school and all these things so it was really really fun to be together again and well you can imagine that this is the first photo in years I have together with my sister so it's a pretty pretty special photo and as you can see um, my sister and I uh, are a very have a very big difference in height so I'm pretty tall uh, but she is very small so um, we made this photo on purpose like this to demonstrate that we uh, are very different in height uh, so yeah it was a really really great day so I wanted to 
create this uh, special page uh, for her and for me to document this photo that, well, a long time ago I thought we would never make again. So it is uh, very, very good. And we are rebuilding our relationship and we are having a very good time together. So I'm. Uh, we are both very happy that we haven't talked for that long, but we are also very happy now that we found each other again. But we really needed our own space to grow as a person. So moving on to what I am doing, you saw me use some more of these washi stickers to create collages and I always use my excess pieces on my spreads or I try to use it. There are, well, a few times that I don't, but overall I always use the excess pieces on my spreads because I think it's a waste if you just throw them away and they still have beautiful leaves on them. So I did that on the top right corner and I also did it under the journaling spot that I created. And now I am figuring out which one I want to use on the bottom. So sometimes I get caught up in these details with finding the perfect plant sticker. <laughs> While, uh, of course, it doesn't matter if you have the perfect sticker because it's about documenting the, do the, jur the memory and <laughs> it's all about the process. So finding the perfect sticker uh, is not, <laughs> not really what the goal is for this page but you know it happens to all of us guys and here you see i'm taking off some excess sticker and i thought i want to put it there but i didn't like it so i decided to put it on the inside of my journaling spot and i really liked it i'm cutting off this piece and it has a little bit of a weird looking stem so i'm not going to use that one again uh, but usually i try to use up my stickers as much as i can so now I'm figuring out what I want to do to connect the journaling spot a little bit more with my page. So I decide to put this washi sticker with a plant over it. So it looks more like it is a part of my page and I'm creating a little bit of depth with it. And then I'm going to move on to some Tim Holtz word stickers. I absolutely love the Tim Holtz word stickers and I'm adding a few that I think fit with this memory. And I'm also going to add a little bit more washi tape because I haven't added any of this washi tape on the left side of this page. And like I said, I like to repeat elements so it looks more cohesive and that is what i did here i absolutely love this dina weekly washi tape and uh, i'm going to add some extra doodling with some gold posca paint marker i find that mark making or doodles uh, really help to connect everything because you are overlapping certain pieces as you can see i'm uh, overlapping my collage or my background or my stickers to make sure that they will be connected now I'm going to take my roller date stamp and I'm going to stamp the date uh, when we had our day together. So it's not the date when I actually made this page, it's the day that we uh, saw each other. And all I do now is write down some journaling and that's my journal page for today. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, put the notification bell on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. You can also become a patron of mine. Link for that is down below in the description box. It would help me out a lot and you will get back uh, for uh, becoming a patron. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye. Thank you.